dig therapy, medical didgeridoo therapy. Yeah. And why don't you explain to us uh, the beginning, like how you dis how you came to discover the didgeridoo and how it, uh, you thought it might help you. That's an interesting story. So just share that with us. Yeah. Yes, I was uh, in the year 2000. I was sleeping in my bed close to me, my wife, and she was, she knows or knew that uh, I was a uh, fighting snow every night, and this was a normal situation for us. But uh, in one night, she didn't hear me snoring for a long for a long while, and this uh, was she was uh, so shocked while it was totally silent for 20 seconds mm -hmm. and then uh, she pushed me out of the bed while she, she was so shocked and then uh, I didn't I waked up and I was shocked too because I didn't know what is the problem. I asked her, she, she explained me the situation and uh, so I was going to the doctor next day and uh, he said to me, okay, I think could be a sleep apnea situation you have to go to the um, sleep lab to look if you have sleep on me or not. And uh, I was going there one night with cable and all these uh, installations. And after this night, we saw that I have uh, had a sleep apnea situation, obstructive. And my doctor said to me, okay, we have to uh, organize therapy to you and I say okay what I have to do and how long and what is the, the 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 best therapy for my situation and they said to me okay uh, this CBAP this continuous uh, positive airway pressure machine with mask in the night and um, yes I said okay I will try it and how long a month or two months and he said to me the rest of your life and I said to me oh impossible because I was uh, 34 years old and uh, impossible to imagine to use that mask the rest of my life. So I asked him if there is some alternative or something other treatment uh, for uh, a man in, in my age. Mm -hmm. But he said to me, no, no, this is the gold standard in medicine, you have to use that. <coughs> and I said to him, okay, I will, I will try it for two weeks and have a look if I can sleep, if that is possible. Um, so I used it, and in these two weeks, uh, I had a rash in my face of the gum from the CBAP mas uh, mask. Then uh, I had always put it out of my face in the moment when I was sleeping. And after two weeks, my, my wife was completely nervous because she couldn't sleep about uh, emissions in the night and all these problems with the mask. Also, the point was I was giving it back and said to my doctor, okay, I have to do something, but what now? Then he was asking me if I have an IV because I'm a professional teacher for Tai Chi, Qigong and Kung Fu. I was uh, doing that since I, I was uh, 10 years old. And he, my doctor was thinking that I have more acknowledged than others about body outwork or training uh, with muscles. And uh, I said to him, okay, in, in Asia normally the techniques which I learned are to make uh, meditation or transcendence effect. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that is okay for a sleep apnea situation, the truth, we have to activate the truth and not to make it uh, uh, more uh, um, softer mm -hmm. with uh, meditation. Then, um, but I said to him, okay, I will go open mind in the future and uh, see if there is some opportunity or if I will see something uh, what could help in this part. And uh, so in one of my seminars, I had a student in the group who was uh, playing wooden didgeridoo in the break. Um, and then, well, one time I were, when I was pa passing him, I saw that when he's playing the didgeridoo, uh, he has here movements in the throws. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, this was my little um, light in my brain for that moment because the idea of vibration and movements in the throat and the respiration tract using could be that that could help me. And so I was asking him how that works, the technique, or what he's doing. He explained me that and said also to me that he knows a lot of very good teacher, teachers 
but they are uh, snoring too. Mm -hmm. And so I, I knew that this uh, could be not the way for sleep apnea, because sleep apnea is a harder form of snoring. And then uh, I said to him, okay, if I can uh, uh, have one of this stitch reduced, and I've used uh, an acrylic plastic form, and I was uh, making exper experiments to look if I can make a powder effect inside deeper in my throat where the apnea situation is. And so I developed a system or a technique on the point that I felt it better inside, not outside by rhythms, like in the traditional literary technique, more inside. And then I was calling to my doctor and said to him, uh, I have an idea. If you will measure me after four or five months, um, I will use every day 20 minutes or 30 minutes uh, the true do playing with a special technique and over a time of uh, five or six days a week, four to five months. And then he said to me, great, we will uh, do it. And uh, well, I was playing this time. After the time I was going to the second measure in the sleep lab and next morning no sleep apnea, no snoring, nothing. Very silent. What did they think? Oh, they were positively shocked <laughs> because it was a little bit crazy uh, to imagine that I, I blow in a tube and uh, then I can eliminate sleep apnea or snoring uh, in that time, to, uh, 10 years ago. And uh, so I had to play in the morning in the bed and of the hospital at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning uh, to show what I have done with the true do. Um, yes, yeah, so this was my success for, for myself and uh, about my success the doctors of the hospital of the University of Zurich heard about them self-test um, yes, and asked me if I'm interested to build up a study with them as the instructor of the therapy. We have done that in the years 2003 to 2005 and uh, have showed with a group of patients in a randomized study that uh, the system works very good, the Azata system, the technique, and um, they had also a very good success. And based on this study, I uh, have developed the concept of the Azata medical ditch therapy to offer that also to patients like me who uh, don't have uh, some alternative to CVAP or operations and so uh, yes this was the beginning 2006 after the worldwide publication in the British Medical Journal of the study. Yes.